Welcome and welcome back. Uh, again, with dog culture, it, you know, when it comes to dogs and, and, you know, facilities or public areas where uh, they may say, you know, no dogs or only service dogs are allowed. Uh, the thing with that, a lot of these rules are not being enforced and reinforced. Uh, that's where they're allowing any uh, any dog nutter to come in with any kinds of dogs in the facility where in the employees, manager, supervisor, security, they don't say anything. They will have a sign printed on the front door, no dogs allowed or only service dogs allowed. But then we have dog nutters walking in the store, walking into public places with dogs. Uh, and, and it's you know, having these rules, it's, it's very confusing. And it's just why are, you know, dog nutters so entitled? Why don't they have to follow the rules? Why are, you know, these employees stepping up and saying, hey, no more dogs. You can't allow dogs in our stores. They, they don't do that. Uh, this is the Home Depot um, policy. As we may know, uh, Home Depot allows dogs. I, I've seen in videos. You know, uh, we've heard about attacks in Home Depot uh, of these dogs attacking while in the store. Um, but according to this policy, it, it states that uh, they only allow uh, service dogs. Again, when they say animal, they really mean only dogs. Uh, we, I've been into stores where there are birds flying around. And, you know, the birds aren't bothering anyone. No one's bothering the birds. No one's even paying any attention to the birds. Everyone shops and they get out fine. Um, uh, I've seen videos with cats in stores and everyone is cool with it. But when dogs are in the store, you know, everyone is freaking out. Everyone is anxious. Everyone is scared of this, this worthless mutt. Uh, so, again, they really only mean dogs when they say animals. So, in, in the case of Home Depot, they say no dogs, only service dogs are allowed. But we've seen examples of all kinds of dogs in Home Depot, whether it's Canada or one in the U.S. of A. Uh, in Home Depot, and, and they are attacking uh, other dogs. They're attacking people. Um, here is an example of you know Home Depot allowing dogs in the store and allowing it to you know, attack and hurt their employees. Um, this happened May 14th, 2024. An employee of Home Depot was bit in the hand by a dog that was accompanied into the store by a male. The following day, Wednesday, May 15th, the same male and dog were at the Home Depot store approximately 12.30 p.m. when a shopper inside the store was attacked by the same dog. So, <laughs> and that's how brave and entitled these dog nuts are. And, and, and no one's reinforcing these rules. No one's enforcing these rules. First day, the dog bites an employee. No one before that says no dogs allowed. They just allow this random dog into the store. And, and this is the dog. And as you can see, uh, this is clearly not a service dog or emotional support dog. Uh, it wouldn't make a difference, obviously not. Um, but again, they didn't say anything. They allowed the, the shopper to roam the store past the entrance. You're passing cameras, the cashiers and their employees that are working, uh, more cameras and they never said anything. And the employee will got bit by this dog. Then the following day, May 15th, the same guy, you know, after that comes back into the store with the same dog. Again, no one says anything upon his entrance. No one says anything as he's in the aisles. The cameras see him. The cashiers may see him. The other workers in the aisles are, are seeing him. And guess what? This time a, a shopper is attacked by that same dog. So... It's, it's confusing how Home Depot on their policy says only service dogs allow, but they're allowing these dog, other dogs in the store. And no one's enforcing these rules. 
No one is saying, no, your dog is not welcome. It's like they're waiting. Um, they're waiting uh, for these things to happen. They think dogs are so perfect, so innocent, so harmless. But they're just waiting for an attack to happen. And even with it, when it does it in this example, they still do nothing. They do absolutely nothing regarding this issue. They're letting these dog nutters come in and out as they please. No one is stepping up and saying no dog because you know why? This is dog culture for you. They don't want, it's not about offending the person. They don't want to offend the dog. And, you know, people may agree or disagree or probably mostly disagree. Um, if you work at Home Depot, again, you choose to work there. Uh, Home Depot's policy says no, uh, no, it says the only, they only allow service dogs in. But if Home Depot and, and that store isn't enforcing the rules, they have cameras. I'm pretty sure they have security watching. They have cameras. They can see cashiers are working. They have cameras outside and inside the store, in the entrance, you know, in the store, in the parking lot, outside. So they can see this guy coming in with the dog. No one says anything. And an, and an employee... Or if it's a supervisor, a manager, if they get bit, this is me it's talking. Even though I hate dogs so much, I don't think Home Depot should be compensated for any for anything. Because they're allowing these things in and they didn't say anything. They have not said a single thing. They didn't say anything. They allowed this guy to walk in with this dangerous dog to bite people on two days. As for the customer, I think the customer should be compensated. And I think um, chances are, you know, they can probably make millions off of Home Depot because of this. If not, maybe thousands. Um, but as for the employees, anyone working for Home Depot and you get bit and you did not enforce the rules of saying, hey, no dogs allowed or only service dogs allowed, to say the least. And if you get bit, you shouldn't be allowed anything. Is there someone that someone that really hates dogs? Someone that you know wants to you know help protect people from dogs. But if you have a policy, if you have a policy that says only service dogs allowed, as certified service dogs, you know allowed. You know, and you're not following this. You're not following your own rules, your own policy. You deserve nothing. I guarantee, you know, when these places, uh, especially I'll talk about Home Depot, um, you come with like no receipt. They have this, the, I don't know, they probably have like a, a receipt policy, 30-day policy. And you come back day 31 with no receipt. They're not going to give you your money back. They'll say that's store policy. You know, you open a product and you try to return it. They're going to say you can't return this product because that's store policy. But how come they're allowing dogs, dogs that can kill people, attack people in the stores? Where, where is the store policy with that? Where is the store policy with that? They're just allowing them in. They just allowed a dog. Two days straight. And the same owner two days straight into the Home Depot where two people were bitten by the same dog in the same store. And no one stopped him. No one said anything, said anything to him. The guy walked in. The guy walked in pretty cool, pretty calm, pretty easy. As if nothing's happening. See, this, this, this guy over here, he ain't saying nothing. You know damn well this guy ain't, ain't going to say nothing. No one's saying anything. It's loud, loud these dogs in. And, and, and I've seen firsthand where, I, where at my Home Depot, 
someone walking in. I was already in the store. Uh, walking in with their dog. Not a service dog, just walking in. So, so these places don't enforce these rules. So it's, 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 it's so weird talking about this. So we're saying, hey, you have, you have a no dog policy, but you still allow service dogs. But you're allowing any every dog in and people are getting bitten and attacked and nothing's being done. Such a such a disgrace, man. This dog culture is a disgrace. And the reason why these people don't say anything. The reason why they, these people don't say anything. Uh, I think it's it's not a it, uh, they don't care about offending the person. They care about offending the worthless mutt. They don't want to see the worthless mutt locked in a car, locked up home by itself. They don't want to see that. Even though they have a policy, no dogs allowed. They rather have, you know, these worthless mutts in store biting people, at least, to say the least. Because these dog nuts, dog lovers, they don't really care about people. They're the ones that say dogs are better than people. They say that dogs are better than them. They put the dog before them. That, that's, that's true. They put the dog before them. They put these worthless mutts above them, in front of them. And the reason why, I think the reason why they call the leash a lead is so that the dog can be the leader of them. The dog is always in front, leading. And guess who's always behind? The dog owner, who's always behind the dog when the dog is taking a shit. The dog owner, who's on the lead, the dog. Who's always in front, the dog. Who's always above these dog owners, the dog. So these, these dog nuts, they really don't like themselves so much that they will put the dog in the lead. <laughs> Gore the dog butcher. Nether worthless mutts. Please remember, it's okay to hate dogs.